felt I'm on a different chair. I'm not in a tutor chair. I was just like an audience listening to you. Okay, yes. What are your views? You have some lovely thoughts on different subjects. That's wonderful. Yes. I'm great. Thanks for asking, ma'am. And how about you? Mm -hmm. I'm also good. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. And uh, you are Mrs. Neha. Mrs. Miss. Yes, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Okay. Okay, Mrs. Neha. How are you? How's your um, great your Thursday going? Sorry, Wednesday going. So, yeah, tell me. How's your Thursday going? Is it Thursday today? Oh, sorry, I Wednesday. I, I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> How's your Wednesday going? Yes, ma'am. So Wednesday is going on its way. Uh, okay. Same routine, uh, usual uh, kind of uh, stuff. Nothing happening, nothing rocking, ma'am. <laughs> okay. All, you know, all the same day, right? In right. lives of our. Okay. Okay. So we met for the first time. Uh, so let's start with a short introduction. All right. So I'll do the honors. So as you can see, my name is Ashna. And I'm talking to you from Punjab and uh, I've done my master's in journalism and mass communication. And since then, I've been working as a trainer, as a soft skill trainer. Earlier, before like before COVID, I used to travel to different parts of India or I would say Punjab, a northern part of India to train corporates of different employees, uh, sorry, employees of different corporates and um, other people who need soft skill training and since covid i've been working online and i'm loving this journey as well uh, again i get to connect to people from different parts of world so i like that and uh, uh, i've trained about thousand plus kids and adults till now and my specialization is business communication and interview skills okay wow yeah. that was wonderful <laughs> so, uh, yes as you know ma'am my name is neha rana Mm -hmm. uh, I came from Himachal Pradesh, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, currently I stay in Mohali, that is in Punjab. Right, I'm right. I've been there. there. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm a homemaker. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been uh, uh, doing, like homemaking is my profession. It's been 14 years now, I would say. Uh, right, but, experienced uh, homemaker, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. So, homemaker by profession and a teacher by heart. Uh, oh, wow. Teacher Yes, teaching is my prof uh, passion. Uh, teaching is my passion. But yes, uh, as I don't step out, I haven't joined any school. Uh, but I take uh, tuition classes. Earlier, uh, I used to, to take uh, offline classes. But now, uh, nowadays, I'm just sticking to online classes. And I'm enjoying it as I just mentioned that uh, teaching is my uh, passion. So that is the reason. And along with it, I am a passionate inquisitor. As when it comes to English language, because uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course it's not our first language, it's not our first, uh, native language. So we have kind of phobia when it comes to speaking, sure. speaking, mm -hmm. speaking mm -hmm. English. So we want to get rid of this fear of being judged. Of mm -hmm. uh, so that is the reason mm -hmm. I'm including myself. Uh, and, right, right, and uh, that's commendable that, uh, you know, it is not uh, everybody's uh, cup of tea, I would say. Uh, it is not, everybody is not that courageous to go forward and put yourself out there and tell everybody, yes, I'm here to learn. And then learning and making mistakes also, that's also not everybody's uh, job. So that's wonderful. I appreciate that. So I will tell you one thing. I happen to see some of your videos. Um oh. Well, wow. <laughs> I've seen them and they are pretty good. Uh, I have uh, subscribed as well. What happened was um, uh, I joined recently with the platform. And once you uh, are searching for uh, something, you know, AI, what AI does is uh, re recommend the same things to you in the YouTube. Right. Yes, yes. So I got, uh, I was recommended some of the videos so, and uh, some of them included yours as well. So I've seen them. And uh, it was nice. I heard uh, you, you know, you as you mentioned, you really like to learn. And I've seen that in your videos. That's wonderful. So oh. I've seen that. I subscribed. So I really liked it. it <laughs> you made my day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's, uh, you should, you, should uh, you deserve that. You really do. So that is why I'm saying that all here. Okay, so let me ask you some questions. Let's get to know each other much better, right? So what do you like about teaching? Uh, you know, when we are passionate about something, 
we usually have one thing about that that we like for example if i tell you my passions i i am passionate about dancing and cooking okay, okay. so when i'm dancing uh, i i feel like i am a bird Hmm. right uh, music uh, in my ears you know the beats and all and me uh, i am just tuning into those uh, you know the sounds and beats and i feel like i'm a bird i'm just flying with the music so that's about dancing and cooking i love uh, the product that comes with so many efforts you uh, cut vegetables you put spices it's a art you know you uh, painting something and then you get to see the final outcome so that is why the cooking so i want to know why you love teaching why you are passionate about teaching okay ma'am i'll i'll try to express myself sure. uh, teaching is an emotion for me if i say i always wanted to become a teacher but yes i chose uh, my family uh, taking care of my of my family or uh, i chose to be with my son over my passion Uh, okay. but i never stopped i would say i never stopped and i am happy i have no regrets in life i am not uh, regretting ki i didn't go for uh, any job or uh, no i left actually there was a time when i uh, was working uh, mm-hmm. in a school okay. i left okay. just uh, for a short span uh, mm-hmm. so i left the job because i literally did not did not want my son to suffer mm-hmm. i wanted to uh, and he needed me that time he needed me so i left my job and uh, i am happy uh, still i am happy with that decision but uh, if you are passionate or to uh, really want to do something i guess uh, you find uh, anyhow you find a way and sure. i did the same so i started taking uh, tuition tuition classes and uh, still i am taking yes i now i am uh, like have it's okay it's okay online uh, online uh, online platforms mm-hmm. okay Okay. But, uh, That's wonderful. Yes, ma'am. And why I chose, or why I uh, say that teaching uh, is my passion, or uh, it's it's an emotion because I belong to a very small village uh, in Himachal. I am a Hindi medium student, and I have uh, witnessed or encountered all all those struggles when it comes to uh, communicate in English language. And uh, we are living in this era. We can't deny. We have to face. Uh, at each and every step um, this language this language right. being a uh, few if the, it doesn't matter if you are uh, if your subject is hindi then to it yes. is mandated it you know uh, in present that, in present yes. times you yes. cannot move out of it yes. for sure and the coming generation yes. and the way parents want their younger you know very young right. kids very small one year two year to speak in the language you can't skip yes. out of it yes uh but the thing is uh, uh, as i belong to rural himachal rural part of mm-hmm. himachal or rural india i india is also known as uh, you know country of villages so really? uh, many people are not aware of these kind of uh, platforms online platforms right. or uh, actually students uh, kids uh, want uh, to be fluent in this language but their parents uh, don't uh, they are not aware so they don't allow them to uh, you know invest their money uh, specifically uh, in spoken english classes and uh, mostly uh, students from himachal uh, for their higher studies or for their job uh, they come to chandigarh and then actually their struggle begins here they have to face so uh, they have to face embarrassment or hesitation due to this language so i just want to connect with all those students who really want to learn this language but due to maybe due to their financial uh, conditions they are not able to because i am not doing this to earn money i just want i seriously I'll, i want to connect with all those students who uh, are interested to learn this language so i always offer my helping hand okay don't worry if you have uh, if you don't have money i am there to teach you so That's this nice. is a benefit. this is That's my so point nice because uh, what happen is um, we tend to uh, you know make uh, our passions into a profession and uh, then we when we mingle up money with it na uh, things really sometimes get very um, what you say very uh, formal very formal, formal and uh, very uh, scripted you know very baked up 
but when we are doing something out of raw passion and not just because of earning money it is just something else and i truly truly appreciate it miss uh, mrs neha so uh, after listening to you uh, i have just one i have just one feedback to share uh regards to grammar regards to pronunciation everything uh, seems really fine and one thing i noticed about you you yourself gets to know that you are making a mistake so that's nice that's nice and then you stop and then you rectify it that's wonderful so uh that is a sign of confidence and that is a sign of uh, you practicing very cautiously or you being a very cautious speaker so that's a wonderful thing to do to understand okay i am going to make a mistake or i am making a mistake just stop there and rectify it uh, i just noticed one thing that you sometimes use hindi fillers i have uh, mentioned some in the <laughs> chat box ki to so, so we right. have to work on that and it happens it happens uh, with me also till now it happens but yes we are all improving uh, you know tutors are improving and uh, same way uh, i i'm not i'm a teacher or somebody we both are in a journey where uh, we are trying to understand each other and trying trying to correct each other and growing together right okay i have another very interesting question for you and um, this question uh, is asked so many times from me in different interviews and different platforms and uh, what i feel i'll tell you later about it but let me understand your perception about it so you have uh, worked at offline institution also like at school right uh, yes uh, in a school that too for a yes, short school. span yes still you have worked right and uh, you yes. have also taken offline tuitions and now you are taking online tuitions right yes. so tell me what is the difference between both of the thing how the teacher needs to adapt to different uh, environment offline between offline and online and online yes i think uh, to get connected with students uh, like offline more it, it it is more convenient as uh, if if we compare with the uh, online mm -hmm. because uh, uh, when you are connecting uh, online there are some restriction specifically when you are when you deal with toddlers or kindergarten teachers or students yes sometimes it's really uh, difficult it's a hard not to crack to tackle them i would say sure uh, sure i've done that i've been there to ask me <laughs> right yes. and uh, uh, online classes or online sessions are more challenging in terms of uh, making your content or making your session intriguing it is i guess more uh, challenging because you never know uh, what your students are doing uh, once they turn their cameras off because there are so many excuses ma'am uh, network issues is there due to poor connectivity i am not able to turn my camera on or off kind of no so yes i i believe uh, online mode is uh, pretty uh, uh, little bit com complicated uh, if we compare with the offline mode but yes uh we are blessed that we are uh, part of this era um, uh, how can we forget about uh, pandemic that time online mode was the only uh, only uh, how weapon we only, have only thing we have definitely have. have right so and uh, in my case online mode is a blessing i won't say in this guys because it is completely blessing and blessing <laughs> because <laughs> this is the yeah. thing uh, which i am fulfilling or uh, i'm chasing my dream i am able to connect with the students and i am able to improve myself because being a homemaker uh, i am restricted to my place only i have mentioned it so many for so many time of, of course ma'am uh, my biggest hurdle is Uh, because i uh, i don't uh, have how to get that exposure or how to create that environment when you don't step out i'm not uh, able to meet or i'm not meeting people on my daily basis i'm just restricted uh, restricted to my place and i deal with my students only so that is the reason i i'm taking these uh, sessions so that i can explore myself in a better way and i can teach the technicalities of this language uh, okay. i know i know grammatical concepts and i am pretty aware when i make any mistake but the thing is still i make mistake because i oh, don't yes. have that exposure right uh, right we, right we don't speak in english language that's uh, the only we, and main reason i feel that we do not speak yes. in the language and that is why we are committing mistakes we are right. we do have a phobia of it we are a bit hesitant exactly exactly so uh, 
I think offline mode is uh, more convenient. It has so many benefits, but uh, yes, as I believe everything has different shades and everything comes right. with different, so we can't deny there are pros and cons, but uh, uh, dealing uh, with your students uh, on online mode is uh, quite tricky and you need to be smart enough. <laughs> while yes. <you're> <laughs> no, no, I totally agree. Uh, all to all the facts you have mentioned, uh, I have a young daughter of nine months. So, okay. you know, I have been in the same shoe where I couldn't step out. And I am a kind of a uh, person who cannot uh, be, um, I, I truly respect all the homemakers, but uh, still uh, that's about me, pers my personal view that I am a person who's so addicted to working. I've been working mm -hmm. since 18 so i am too addicted to working uh, i just uh, can't uh, be without it i cannot imagine my life without it uh, after my daughter i just took two uh, months um, break and that too uh, you know work still working bits and pieces mm -hmm. but a uh, proper break i took that two three months uh, uh, 15 days before the delivery and two months after that mm -hmm. and after that i wanted to work uh, i mm -hmm. i had no other option to be at home but still working so I, I i managed to be here and i totally understand it's a, it's completely a blessing for me as right. you said it is for you uh, but i again i understand it's very difficult to have uh, you know uh, your your students attention towards yourself uh, they are at the comfort of their home and uh, sometimes uh, with adults still uh, it is pretty okay but with kids and younger kids trust me it's so difficult uh, i've been taking sessions of very young kids, two years, three years, four years. Trust me, you want so much of energy to even talk to them, to just make them glue to their to the screens, to talk to you so much, uh, you know, energy you need and so much of other technicalities you need. So yeah, I totally I understand. Yes. So, yeah. So sometimes what happens, because I also deal with the... Uh, kids of uh, no two like two years or three years sometimes yeah. four five so uh, okay again i'm using those so what <laughs> happens sometimes when i go to the go to bed i am so exhausted uh, yes. I, I am not able to speak i'm not able to utter a single word so i start using uh, my gestures or sign language so my husband yes. and my son they both uh, laugh at me no they make fun of me but uh, it happens I it happens. Uh, when I was working with the kids, it was before my daughter. Now I just take two sessions in a week because I cannot. I am not that. I don't have that energy. So earlier, what used to happen was I used to find people who could understand me because uh, there were uh, girls who were going out to prime to teach primary kids. But the you know I don't understand the situation is not the same for them. They do not understand. So I wanted to talk to anybody. Thus any other person feels uh, similar to me that I'm so exhausted after taking three to four sessions a day with kids. But thankfully, I got you now. <laughs> At that time, I was wanting to talk to somebody, but I couldn't get anybody who could understand. But yes, that that the same situation I used to face. I never wanted to speak anything. I just wanted to go to bed directly and wanted to be like, don't talk to me. I've, I've spoken enough for the day. <laughs> now I don't want to talk to anything, talk about anything. So yeah. Yes. Uh, it's been a journey. Okay, so uh, Mahali is a wonderful place to live. I feel it's, you know, it's green and so clean, uh, right? So you tell me, and Himachal again is a beautiful place to live in. So how was it transition for you? And Mohali is a big city in comparison to a uh, lot of uh, places if we talk about it's a developing. Of course, it's developing, but it's near to a very well-developed city, one of the best developed cities of the world, which is Chandigarh. So tell me, how was the transition for you? Uh, so transition was uh, not very drastic because I shifted here from Mumbai. My husband served for Indian okay. Navy, so I was uh, in Mumbai before. Uh, okay, okay. So we shifted uh, here from Mumbai. Of course, we uh, wanted to give uh, good education to our son. So uh, main major reason to settle down here was his schooling only. So that is the reason we are here. Otherwise, I love uh, serenity, nature. I love yes. uh, to be there in Himachal um, with my family. But mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, we are helpless. Uh, but yes, I'm enjoying. I enjoy yes. here also. 
answer we can't deny uh, here we get each and everything at our doorsteps life is pretty easy here if i talk about himachal whenever i go there i am not able to take my sessions due to uh, connectivity issues though we have yes. wifi connection there then to uh, it's really difficult to uh, be attentive all the time and to take online sessions there so right. but still uh, maybe uh, age factor it's due to age factor now i love to be all alone uh, in the lap of nature <laughs> there was a time yes. when i uh, loved to be here in mohali or in mumbai but uh, I don't know why. I feel like no. That back. happens with age, I guess. My mother always keeps telling me after uh, marrying your brother, I have a younger brother. After marrying him, I am just going to go somewhere. Just, just forget me after that, and uh, I am just done with all the responsibilities. So that happens with age because uh, everybody knows that life is not very easy all the time. So we are so done with all the things, uh, you know. taking care of kids and then house and then husband and all those things we just get so tired and we want that uh, nature to just rejuvenate us right okay wonderful so uh, tell me uh, and you are a wife of a uh, army officer uh, navy uh, navy navy okay okay so it must be difficult for you to then again to be sometimes be a solo parent now i think i am uh, habitual to this <laughs> i don't okay. feel like because mm -hmm. uh, i all i enjoy actually uh, when i now we as he uh, took volunteer retirement so we are together here son had he is also grown up now he is studying in ninth standard but yes oh. when i was in mumbai uh, then to i was so into my motherhood i enjoyed that time to the fullest and i yes nice. so i never felt like yes uh, there were there was a uh, there were situations when i felt okay he uh, should be with me uh, again uh, we are helpless sometimes but yes, i enjoy you got to do what you got to do right yes right 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 great great okay okay mrs neha it was so lovely talking to you on different subjects and um, um, i was uh, i felt i am on a different chair i'm not in a tutor chair i was just like an audience listening to you okay as yes. what are your views you have some lovely thoughts on different subjects that's wonderful uh, with respect to your language only uh, one feedback one two feedback first is that uh, you uh, yes you use fillers and hindi fillers so that's uh, one thing which we need to avoid second thing is uh, you are very uh, very uh, you know flowy with your communication that's amazing and that's very very good but uh, when you uh, find out that you are just going to make a mistake you get stuck little bit stuck you get little bit conscious so don't do that it's okay uh, i am a tutor uh, if i took that pressure of being perfect or being correct all the time i cannot take the sessions right so you are also a teacher you understand that we tend to make mistakes it's a language when we are spontaneously talking right we tend to make mistakes just let it go rectify it that's your choice if you want to take pause if you want to rectify it that's completely your choice but don't be cautious about it it sometimes yes. very will on your face right so just be right. feel feel free like a bird and just say what you want to say right uh, i had a very very lovely conversation with you it was such an engaging session and uh, i would love to meet you soon again Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on the session? I loved it. Uh, before the session, I was uh, actually I was uh, I uh, was planning not to discuss the uh, topic because I uh, sometimes I didn't don't feel like discussing the right, same right. topic. But uh, it went very smoothly. Uh, our session, yes. you just uh, took it uh, to another level. By <laughs> because I love random chit chats. I always yeah, love them. I do. I do. Yeah. And the I also thing, don't dwell into that formatting yeah. and scripting. I don't like that. Yes, right? and uh, when we will meet again, so I want to discuss uh, how to introduce ourselves during in like formal introduction or informal yeah. introduction. Whatever you would so, like to, we'll definitely yeah. go for it. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah. Mrs. Neha. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you.